Good evening and welcome to Compline for the 16th Sunday after Trinity on behalf of St Mary's Church, Peterborough. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 142 I cry aloud to the Lord, to the Lord I make my supplication. I pour out my complaint before him and tell him of my trouble. When my spirit faints within me, you know my path. In the way wherein I walk, have they laid a snare for me. I look to my right hand and find no one who knows me. I have no place to flee to, and no one cares for my soul. I cry out to you, O Lord, and say, You are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Listen to my cry, for I am brought very low. Save me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. When you have dealt bountifully within me, then shall the righteous gather around me. Psalm 91 Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say to the Lord, My refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his wings and you shall be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day. Of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, and the Most High your stronghold. There shall no evil happen to you. Neither shall any plague come near your tent. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because they have set their love upon me, therefore will I deliver them. I will lift them up, because they know my name. They will call upon me, and I will answer them. I am with them in trouble. I will deliver them and bring them to honour. With long life will I satisfy them and show them my salvation. Psalm 134 Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A short reading from Jeremiah 14, verse 9. You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. 
I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. We pray to the Lord, in faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. That the rest of this day may be holy, peaceful and full of your presence. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. That the work we have done and the people we have met today may bring us closer to you. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. That we may be forgiven for our sins and failures. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. That we may hear and respond to your call to peace and justice. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. That you will sustain the faith and hope of those who are lonely, oppressed and anxious. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. That you will strengthen us in your service and fill our hearts with longing for your kingdom. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. God of mercy. You know us and love us and hear our prayer. Keep us in the eternal fellowship of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. And our collect. Lord of creation, whose glory is around us and within us, open our eyes to your wonders, that we may serve you with the reverence and know your peace at our lives' end. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, by triumphing over the powers of darkness, Christ has prepared a place for us in the new Jerusalem. May we who have this day given thanks for his resurrection, praise him in the eternal city of which he is the light, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell within us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Saviour taught us. So we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us, the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.